All right, here's an expression that is simplified, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> there is a value of r that cannot be. What is it? Eight. Eight times eight is 64. Eight. Nothing wrong with 64. Five. Zero. 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 You cannot have a zero denominator. R cannot be zero. All right? Cannot. <laughs> now, this is not simplified. What do you think I can do to simplify it? Factor. Factor. What do you factor it? Yeah. Okay. Factor. This can't be factored. What's the greatest common factor here? X. 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 Can I do anything now? I don't know. Teach us. You tell me. Can I get rid of the X's? X's. Hey. It can't be factored. You, I knew somebody. I was waiting for someone to say get rid of the X's. Get rid of the X's. Why can't I do that? Because then it wouldn't be. You have another X. When you have addition. Here's an example. 2 plus 3 over 5 is 5 over 5. Okay? Can I... It's 5 over 5 because... Well, here, I'll make it harder. That's 5 sixths, correct? Yeah. A lot of kids want to do this. Keith, why can't you do that? Well, that's not... Serious. Because it's not 5 sixths. Right before. It's not 5 sixths. Well, it's now 3... It's 1. Oh. And the original fraction was 5 6. So yeah, simplify and then You yeah. cannot simplify with addition. What about what the multiplication? Absolutely can. 2 plus 3 over 6 is 5 6 and that's all it can be. Now, 2 times 3 over 6 is 6 over 6, which is 1. Let's say I didn't do 2 times 3 first, and I wanted to simplify first. That's 1, right? Yeah. What's 3 over 3? One. 1. Or I could even do that. I'm still going to get 1. As long as you have expressions multiplied, you can cancel out. But when you have addition, you cannot. And you're going to have to remember that. Because a lot of kids want to cross out... Uh, Letters or, well, variables or numbers that are the same on the top and the bottom, but you can only do it if it was, here, I'll just take that off. Now you can do it, because that's 9x over x. Final answer, 9 over x minus 2. You can cancel with multiplication, you cannot cancel with addition. Now let's go back to the original, okay? How do you find an excluded value? An excluded value can be found by deciding what cannot what x cannot be. Okay. What can x not be to make that denominator zero? You cannot have. What could it not be? Can't be zero. And it can't be something else. What, what could x not be? What other number? Can't have a zero denominator. 1 minus 2? Oh, you can't have a negative 2. You can't, or you can't have a positive 2. It can't be 2 either. You have two things being multiplied. x equals 0 x minus 2 equals 0. Solve for x. Hopefully you can do that in your head. Those are both excluded values. Put them in. If you put a 2 here, what happens? 2 minus 2, 0. 0 times x, 0. You cannot have a 0 denominator. So you're going to have to factor. This is all about factoring. Okay. 
Now, here, x plus 4 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. All right. First of all, you can't cross anything out. What's going on? <laughs> you can't cross anything out because this is all a sum. But I can factor the denominator. What factors of 6 give me 5x? X minus, X, plus two. X minus 1 and what? X plus 2. X plus 2. That won't give me a positive 5x. X plus 2. X plus 3. You can't have a negative. Oh, yeah. X plus 3. X plus 2. X plus 3. Oh, my God. Okay? Now, what are the excluded values? Negative 2. Negative 2 and? Negative 3. Negative 3. That's right. You've got to find your excluded values every single time. All right? It's going to get harder. Wait, is all we're doing is finding the excluded values? And writing the expression in simplest form. Okay? This is already in simplest form. What's the excluded value? Zero. Zero. Can I just cross out those x squares? No. no. This is not multiplication, but you have a greatest common factor of 3x three. Three X. X times x minus 2. Now I can cross one of those x's out. So what happens on top? 4x on the bottom. 3 times x minus 2. When you are looking for the excluded value, you go back to the original. If the original is not factored, you factor it. In other words, go back to this, then factor it. 3x times x minus 2, then set up each factor to zero. What is x here? Zero. That's an excluded value. What is x here? Two. two. Positive two. That's an excluded value. This is it in simplest form. Excluded value, go back to the original. Yes? So is the excluded value like always the opposite of it's whatever gives you a zero denominator. Let's go back and check it. If I put in a zero here, I get 3 times 0, which is 0, minus 0, 0. So that's definitely an excluded value. Let's put a 2 in here. 3 times 2 times 2, 12, minus 12, 0. Two numbers that make a zero denominator. Did you have... Remember this? Wow. This was a big deal. This is going to be a big deal in Algebra 2. Interesting. All right. Uh, 3x cubed over 12x. What do I do? Can you reduce this? Yeah. What? what? I didn't hear you. What is the 4x squared? How did the 4 get up top? Oh, no. 3x. X squared over 4. X squared over 4. Yeah. X squared over 4. Now, don't look at this for the excluded value. The excluded value is... What? It has to be a number. It's zero. 12x equals... Here, I'll prove it to you. How do you get zero? Divide by 12, x is zero. Okay? All right. Rough stuff.
Can I just cross out X's? No. Cross out threes? No. no. But what can I do? Factor, factor the numerator. Yeah. Oh no. Got a raised compound factor. 3x times x minus 3 over x minus 3. Nice. Yes, you can. Reduce. That's multiplication. What? You can cancel them out. This is one term, this is another term. You can cross out x minus 3. Here. There. Multiplication, multiplication. 3x over 1. Think about it, guys. If you have x minus 3 over x minus 3, Cancel. make x5. What do you get? 2. 2. 1. What? You get 1. Make x20. 1. You get 1. You get 1 no matter what. So they can go. That's one. One. All right. Excluded value. Uh, zero. Zero positive three. Why zero? Zero gives you negative three. Yeah, positive positive three. three. Maybe positive three. Yeah. Only three. Zero doesn't give you a zero yeah. denominator. Some of you maybe should set up an equation equal to zero. All right, let's do x over x plus 5. So many kids will reduce this. It's sum. It can't be simplified. What can x not be? Uh, negative, five. negative 5. Negative 5. Common error, 5. Just not thinking. No, x plus 5 equals 0. Can't be negative 5. X cannot be negative 5. Alright? Now let's get more complicated. Connor, put your name on board. What? Connor wasn't doing that. I did not He doesn't talk. need to turn around. All the I time. didn't turn around. When I turned around, I was doing you were this. Around. I'm so tired of you guys talking to each other all the time. Every time I take a breath. All right, what do I do? What is it? He's looking at his weight. Check. Negative five, positive two. Negative five, positive two. Now what can I do? Take a look at the What's the final answer? One zero. Over. 1 over x minus 5. What's my excluded value? Incorrect. Shoot. Incorrect. <laughs> 5 and negative 2. I remember I told you to go back to the original. When you solve a quadratic, you have to factor first. So you factor, and then you set up x minus 5 to 0, and x plus 2 to 0. You can't be 5, it can't be negative 2. Two excluded values. The biggest error is kids just go to the final expression and say excluded value is 5. Incorrect. 5 is certainly half of it, but it's not all of it. All right. Take out a scrap piece of paper, back of your homework, I don't care what. X plus 1. Nice to know. X squared minus 16. Name on board. Okay. X squared minus... I'm going to start treating you guys like junior high kids. I was asking for a piece of paper. I don't care. Paper. You don't come here unprepared and disrupt my lesson. All right, what can I do? Factor. Factor the numerator and the denominator. Go. Factor the numerator and the denominator. What's the number? 
simplifying rational expressions and finding excluded value. You have two perfect squares up on top. Honestly, if you don't know how to factor by now, you should get online and learn how to factor. Because you can't do anything the rest of the year if you can't factor, and you cannot possibly pass the final without factoring. Okay, Joel, what do I put on top? That was a perfect square trinomial. Okay, now, and I also found out your uh, algebra teachers, when you uh, have x minus 4 twice, they want it squared next to it. They don't want it written twice. Wow. Really? Don't know why. Doesn't matter. You gotta do what they say. Those are gone. Final answer x plus 4, x minus 4. Now, you go back to this for excluded value. It's the same thing, so what is the excluded value? Positive four. Positive four. Okay? All right. What are you going to do with this? Now, I will warn you that the same thing happens every time you have one like this. I'm going to take you through the long way to fix it, but if you can just remember that it's going to always come out to negative one, you can save yourself a lot of time. If they're identical, but they're just backwards, you can just make it negative one. Let me show you why. The numerator is x minus three. The denominator is not in standard form. Negative x plus three. The denominator now has a leading coefficient of negative one. So let's put x minus 3 over negative 1. You can just make it negative. x minus 3. It's always going to be negative 1. Do we have to show the work for that? You do not have to show the work if you can memorize that. But be very careful. It has to be identical. You know, you could even have 2x minus 5, 5 minus 2x. That's going to be negative 1. After you go through all that work, you're going to get the same thing. And then you're going to get mad at yourself because you're like, oh, you just Yes. But you, you'll find it if you just write it in standard form. All right. Two x minus ten over. Oh, wait a minute. What was the excluded value? Negative, uh, wait, what? Three. That was the original. Three. Okay. You don't want to forget that. 2x minus 10, 25 minus x squared. Okay, this one's complicated because that's not in standard form. You might want to make it in standard form first. Try to simplify it. They can both be factored after you write them in standard form. Jack? A lot of kids will miss what the excluded value is on this one, too. There's two of them. Wowzers. You know how to factor. Mm -hmm. Sam, you factored it already? I think I got it right. What's your final answer? Uh, well, I had two parentheses, no, oh, two, and then parentheses x minus 5 at the top. No. Okay, 2 times x minus 5 is the factored version of that. Yeah. And then, 
Let's work on that bottom. That's negative x squared plus 25. Now we have to take out the negative leading coefficient. 2 times x minus 5 over negative x squared minus 25. Now we have the difference of two perfect squares. So we have 2 times x minus 5 over negative 1's plus, 1's minus, x plus 5, x minus 5, cancel, cancel. Okay, now you have 2 over negative x plus 5. These parentheses are not needed if you put the negative on top. So that's what we want you to do, and put x plus 5. That is the simplified version that will only be accepted for full credit. Now, to go back and get the excluded value, go back to the original equation. Well, it's got an x squared in it, so we got to factor first. So go all the way back to this one. What is the excluded value? 5 and negative 5. 5 here, negative 5 there. Well, let's figure it out. 25 minus 5 times 5, 0. 25 minus negative 5 times negative 5, 0. Negative times negative is positive. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. No, I, I know. I just know. I know it's too bad. Now, if you're not sure, doing it this way, go to the simplified factored version, and you have x plus 5 is 0, x minus 5 is 0. Negative 5 or 5 will both make it 0. How much time do we have? Okay, I'm going to give you your... Um